I'm not really here to preach. I'm here to fight. Amen. To fight against a specific power. And I want you to connect your faith with mine as we launch that warfare. Believing God for uncommon testimonies. The Bible says they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. Amen. So we're looking at what I call breaking the power of marital delay. Amen. We have a war in our front to fight, and you must win. Every elephant power blocking the way of your marriage shall be destroyed completely. Let our amen roar like thunder. Amen. If you are a compassionate pastor, or if you are interested in the issue of solution evangelism, if you are the kind of pastor interested in people's problem being solved, two things will create great concern in your heart. The first thing is marital delay. Second one is fruit of the womb. They create concern for any minister who is interested in solution evangelism. Today, many Christian brothers and sisters are getting married very, very late. Some are even thinking of giving up on the idea. So the problem of late marriage, the problem of arrested marriage, is real and many are under this yoke of satanic marital delay. In Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12, hope deferred make it the heart sick. But when the desire commit is a tree of life. That is when you begin to hope, 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 hope. You hope for a long time and the hope is becoming long suffering. It makes the heart what? Sick. So, meaning that the Bible too does not recommend that you should just allow the enemy to be holding you down in one bus stop. Every power assigned to hold anyone down in an evil bus stop, that power shall die today in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Every power that is prolonging your hope unnecessarily, just prolonging it, just prolonging it, may they scatter unto desolation. In the name of Jesus. A louder amen. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 1. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. As the Lord spoke unto me and we compassed Mount Sire many days. The Israelites were supposed to make the journey to the promised land in something about 38 days. But for 40 years they were roaming around a place called Kadesh Barnea. And the Lord spoke unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you not what? The Lord too does not like people just turning, going around a circle, going around a circle, going around a circle. May any power that wants you to be going around a circle be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Matthew 25 verse 1 Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom and five 
of them were wise and five were foolish they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept the delay of the bridegroom made them to slumber and to sleep the delay that will make you slumber and sleep i destroy it now i destroy it now in the name of jesus genesis chapter 19 verse 16 god had told lot escape from this city escape for your life for the lord will destroy sodom and gomorrah and he asked them to run you expect that these people will be running away that god wants to destroy this place let's run let's run but something held them down something was delaying them for destruction it's a force it's a power when the angel of god will come to somebody and tell you get out of here the lord will destroy this place and that word is not enough for somebody to start running the bible says in genesis 19 16 and while he did what he lingered he delayed the man laid hold upon his hands and upon the hands of his wife and upon the hands of his two daughters the lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city there is a lingering spirit what does it mean to delay to delay is to retard to delay is to defer to delay is to slow down to delay is to hinder to delay is to prolong to delay is to linger i'm going to change the word about so so you know that some sometimes what you think is not delay is actually delay to delay is to tarry to delay is to postpone until a later time to delay is to cause something to be later 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 they say i want this later i want to marry later i want to go and study later the later spirits to delay is to be slower than expected or desired to delay is to stay in the waiting room of life may any power that wants to detain you in the waiting room of life be buried alive today a lady got married was the first person in the family to get married nobody ever got married in that polygamous home with 17 children she got married first and on her wedding day the fifth wife of their father who had six wives went to give her a wedding present and he said take this bread and block your womb what was inside the wedding present was a piece of bread and as if there was a bewitchment on that lady it was as if all, all the hunger that she had in her life was for the bread was for the bread so she went and prepared a cup of tea bon vita that particular satanic bread she now sat down and ate it may you not be bewitched and for 12 years no pregnancy 
until she got to the deliverance ground 1994. There, a serious prayer. She started having cramps underneath her. Cramps, cramps in her womb area. And something pushed out. It was the bread she ate. Many years back. Anything you have eaten or swallowed that is affecting your destiny, I command you to catch fire. You must 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 catch fire. Jesus. Let the enemy of the To delay is to interrupt. To delay is to adjourn. To delay is to detain. To delay is to arrest. To delay is to stop. To delay is to block. To delay is to drag. To delay is to suspend. To delay is to withhold. You can see that I've chased that word around so that you know that when they say delay, it's, it's, it has, it's, the meaning is wide. There are several kinds of spiritual delays. That is what so called divine delay. You are running too fast. God punctures the tire of your vehicle so that you won't have an accident. That's a divine delay. That is personal delay. That is program delay. There is inherited delays. There is witchcraft delay. There is unconscious delay. There is hidden delay. There is prosperity delay. There is progress delay. There is a delay by the strong man. There is evil dedication delay. There is environmental delay. But then, there is marital delay as well. Destiny is a function of time. Destiny is normally the devil's target. Most of those that the enemy is holding, withholding their marriage now is destiny. The battle is a battle against your destiny. Satan troubles people mostly because of their future. So if you have a bright future, the enemy knows that your, dest your destiny is very bright. They will launch warfare against you in all areas, including marriage. When Satan sees that he cannot derail you, he cannot derail your destiny, then he tries to delay you. And when a power is delayed long enough, and that power is the power that should make you prosper, that power is the power that should make you fulfill your destiny, somebody holds it down long enough, the person himself will be destroyed. I'm praying for you that the problem of the five foolish virgins that delayed the purchase of their oil will not happen to you in the name of Jesus. They should have bought the oil at the same time their friends bought, but something delayed it. They did not buy. And as they went to buy, by the time they came back, the door was shut. So the door of destiny can be closed. I'm praying that your door of destiny shall not be closed in the name of Jesus. So, satanic delay is destructive. You don't play with it at all. God knew this. And when the strange forces of delay took hold of Lot, Lot did not want to go, although he was going to be destroyed. The, the strange forces of delay, they have held him down there. God had to send an angel to release them. 
the angel that will release you from any form of marital delay we appear today 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 they will appear today in the name of jesus satanic delay they cause mockings people will be mocking you they will be despising you because of that delay satanic delay causes anger and provocation it causes weeping satanic delay makes one who is strong to be weary and uncomfortable satanic delay breeds wrong accusation makes people to be frustrated it causes helplessness and it gives room to so many questions somebody should not even ask satanic delay so don't joke with this power when i say begin to attack it i'm telling you the horribleness of that power now it almost destroyed lot if not for the angel that pulled him out i pray once again the angel that will set you free from every marital delay will appear today will appear 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 in the name of jesus satanic delay will cause backsliding some people backslide because they can't marry on time satanic delay sometimes will force people to go and be looking for alternative sources of deliverance which will now put them into more problems they fall into the trap of occultic men because of delay one lady said my mother said i should come to the village so that they can wash my head when they wash my head i will find the husband they washed her head but by the time she got back to her station she found that what they did for her was to wash her virtues away they said they have washed your head it's a lie they've just washed your virtue away anything that is not growing is certainly dying anything that is not increasing will as a matter of rule decrease when satanic delay comes and we don't deal with it it goes into the next stage which is stagnation if you don't now deal with that stagnation it goes into another dangerous stage called decay may you not move into decay may you not move into stagnation in the name of jesus let your amen be loud and clear there are 70 causes of marital delay 70. one is inherited evil pattern that is what a mountain of fire we call collective captivity that is everybody in the family is going through the same problem in your family people marry late people don't find wives or husbands on time or in your family you notice that marriages never work then that is an evil pattern it must be broken if you don't break it it will cause you marital delay if you are under that category and you have already inherited the evil pattern of marital delay from your father's house receive your deliverance now in the name of jesus two two spirit husband spirit wives if i want to go into that one that will take us till tomorrow but know that there are spiritual husbands there are spiritual wives they come to people in the dream sometimes it's even not in the dream they sleep with people they have sex with people in the dream when you are having that kind of thing and a man laying claim to you in the dream 
and you just have a feeling that a man is around you. Or you can even feel somebody was lying on top of you. You can feel that somebody is sleeping with you. You wake up sometimes, you know that somebody has slept with you. You have pains under you. You know that somebody has violated you. If that continues, a proper husband will not come. If even they try to come, this jealous spirit husband, jealous spirit wife will give that partner a hard fight and chase them away. Some who say that, well, they propose to me, all of a sudden the man runs away, he's not interested, the woman too is not interested. It could be that there's a spirit wife, spirit husband tormenting them, harassing them. We've seen cases like that before. When a man wanted to marry a lady, he saw somebody in the dream warning him that if you marry that lady, that lady is my wife, I will kill you. And the man quickly ran. As I'm talking to you here now, I still remember my church of many years ago, we had a wedding ceremony. And they got to the front, the pastor doing the wedding, an old man of almost 70 something. As he began to read the marriage pledge. Say, I, so, so, and so, take thee as my wedded husband to love, to cherish, blah, 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 till death do us part. And blah, blah, blah. And they ask, will you take so, so, and so as a wedded husband to love and to cherish till death do you part? According to the holy ordinance, blah, blah, blah. The lady said, no. Uh, the man thought maybe she didn't hear very well. She read it again. I say, sister so so and so, will you take brother so so and so? She said, I said no. And the man was begging, hey, please say yes. <laughs> say yes. Say yes. Ah, is it this place you are going to be saying no? Say yes. He said, I said no. And since she kept saying no, no, no. Our church was very ignorant in those days. That was the end of the wedding. None of us knew that she was seeing a spirit husband who appeared in church and was telling her, if you say yes, you are in trouble. Remember, you are my wife. Remember, you have some children with me there. Your children will be crying. You can't marry this man. If you marry the man, you die. No, we did not know. We were blaming her. We did not see what she was seeing. That was those days. But now, it can't happen again. <laughs> Amen. If it is now, you came to Mountain of Fire Puppet, you were not drunk before you got there. <laughs> and they didn't force you there. You came with your own leg. You saw wedding gown. You had hip bridesmaid, made. And then you came to the front and you are saying no. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> We we'll just say, everybody stand up. Point your hand at this woman. Rain fire on her. By the time they rain fire for five minutes on her, I say, will you take or not? Amen. I decree by the decree of heaven that anyone here troubled by any spirit wife or any spirit husband receive your deliverance in the name of receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it, receive it. in the name of jesus Travels of the firstborn. The travels of the firstborn. The firstborn is normally a torchlight. The firstborn is normally a victim of parental ignorance. Many firstborns have been converted to footmat, and many firstborns are finding it so difficult to get married while their younger ones are getting married. I say battle there. Four, parental curses. Your father or your mother or your grandmother 
or your grandparents saying, you, 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 you think you will live in your husband's house. You will never marry. If you notice they are causing you like that, that is enough to cause marital delay. May anti-marriage curses be broken in the name of Jesus. Five. Evil marks. There is something in the spirit realm called satanic marks. If that mark is on somebody's forehead, nobody comes to talk to you about marriage. Anytime they see you, the only thing they like about you is to sleep with you. Sex. No marriage. It's a mark on the face. May that mark be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Six. Spiritual blindness. That is, you are so spiritually blind, you cannot see God's choice for your life. Who you should marry is right before you, but your eyes are so blind, you can't see. Is a cause of marital delay. That's why it is good to say, open my eyes, O Lord. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Hallelujah. Open my eyes, O Lord. Ready to obey. When this psalmist says, Open my eyes, O Lord, that I might behold wondrous things. The psalmist was not a blind man. The eyes he was referring to was the inner eye. May your inner eyes open. <laughs> Seven. Familiar spirits. Familiar spirits. The Igbos call it Ogbanje. Yorubas call it Emiri. A lot of people are unconsciously in the familiar spirit group. And as far as you are in that group, they will delay your marriage because they don't want you to go. Familiar spirits. A lot of sisters, brothers are being troubled by these wicked spirits. And you could remember some time ago in your life, a prophet whether satanic or holy prophet was telling you that you have familiar spirit, you better pray hard. Pray hard because they are probably telling you the truth. Or your parents said when you were young you were very sick and they took you all over the place. You better pray. Or you notice that anywhere you go you have strange unconscious powers troubling you. They are forces of familiar spirits. Every familiar spirit assigned against your destiny shall be scattered. They 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 shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Every hour of delay into my marital life. In the name of Jesus. The Papa Satan the Kayaba. Rima Satan the Kayaba Shanta. Satan is apprehended. Satan is the arrows of the living. In Jesus' name we pray. So every chain of stagnation. Can you shout it loud? Trouble my marital life. In the name of Jesus. Break the chain.
In Jesus' name we pray. Say every delay tactics organized against my marriage. Can you shout this loud? Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Scatter the tactics. Jesus name we pray I wish you could see what is happening now I wish you could see what is happening now say arrows of disappointment arrows of hard life arrows of shame can you shout those three things loud Shout it again! Damn! In the name of Jesus! 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 Bakapota Sataraka! Flow, 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 flow. In Jesus' name we pray. Every power of my father's house delay my marriage. You are a In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. My pet has sat here on the counter. Continue, 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 continue. Something is happening, something is happening. Something is happening, continue. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Strong of satanic delay I pull you down in the name of Jesus pull that this summer. Jesus Jesus Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic agents. Where is my wedding garment? Can you shut it loud? In the name of Jesus, Pelakata Santa, the Ribo Supende Kayabo Shenteraba. Yes, my Pelakata Santa. Yes, every agent of darkness, where are you ready to go? Do it, do it. 
you going to do with them now? Yeah, tell me something. Be released. 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 In the name of Jesus, be released. In Jesus' name we pray. We need to repeat that prayer in another form. Satanic parents collecting my diary. There. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Jesus. 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 In Jesus, then we pray. Say, wind of the Holy Spirit. Carry me to my marital destination. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and ask for the wind of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Number eight. Occupation forces. That is, the enemy will bring one man or one woman that will occupy you and is just occupying you to prevent others from finding you. Your correct man your correct woman will not come because there is an occupation force surrounding you. And that occupation force could say for five years, six years, seven years, whereas it's merely an occupation force. It's not the real thing. May every fake partner surrounding anyone be scattered in the name of Jesus. Nine. Time wasters. Time wasters. When you are hooked to time wasters, they waste your time. And, when, and you are busy wasting time, wasting time, and days and months are going. Ten. Late conversion. That is, you got born again late. You didn't surrender your life to Jesus on time. But before you surrender your life to Jesus, you have been moving about with somebody for years. Now that you have surrendered your life, you have to break it up and look for somebody else, therefore causing a delay. Eleven. It's divinely designed delay. There is a delay designed by heaven. That one is okay. The Bible says, He has made everything beautiful in His time. That is divine delay. God knows why He does that. Twelve. There is detention by sin. Sin can detain a person from getting married. Jesus told the man at Bethesda, Say, sin no more, lest a worse thing come to you. When you tarry in the arena of sin, you block heaven from having mercy on you. 13. Random sampling. Multiple relationships. You are circulating yourself from man to man, from woman to woman, until they begin to write it in their diary that you are not a wife material. You are not a husband material. 
random sample. I remember that sister. She was befriending somebody in their church. She was also befriending somebody in the campus who is a non-believer. Whenever she comes home on holidays, she becomes holy. Say, brother, let us pray. Glory be to God. Shout hallelujah. Anointy for me. And the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. When she comes on holidays. When she gets to the campus, she goes to party. Goes to party and dance to rock and, and satanic music. The day heaven will catch her. She wrote a letter to the Christian brother in church. She wrote another letter to the unbeliever boyfriend in the campus. She now made a mistake and put it in different envelopes. The one for the church brother, their brother in Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. I hope you enjoyed the ministration last Sunday. I was thoroughly blessed. God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. That was the letter she wrote to the Christian man. The one she wrote to the unbelievers man. Say, wow, what a fantastic time we had at that party. But you forgot your condom in my room. She now put the condom letter inside the Christian one. Put the believer one inside. And that news spread. For her to now get a proper person, everybody was running away. Random sapling, multiple relationship, trial and error will land you into delay in marriage. 14. Fool's paradise. Fool's paradise. That is, your thinking about who to marry is so high, and you are even attaching yourself to the unattachables. You are living in a fool's paradise. It's like you stay here and say, Well, the Lord said, I'm going to marry the president of Nigeria. We all know the president that he has a wife, and you are saying that's what God has you to do. We are living in a fool's paradise. I must marry a white man. I must marry a white man. I'm tired of black people. I must marry a white man. But you that you want to marry a white man, you don't even have a passport yet. You have never been to any airport in your life. You have no visa. You are just saying it. Unattainable projection. Fool's paradise. May you not live in a fool's paradise. 15. Destructive ignorance. Destructive ignorance. Ignorance reflects in the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you look. There, there is behavioral ignorance. There is spiritual ignorance. That is misconception ignorance. That kind of ignorance can detain a person for a long, long time. I pray that the Lord will damage our ignorance in the name of Jesus. <laughs> ignorant. You just think you can dress anyhow. It's ignorant. 16. Anti-marriage names. Some names that will bear, if we do not change it, can detain us. Names are very powerful. When you call yourself Monica, Monica means uncertain. You call yourself Belinda. Belinda means beautiful snake. Linda means snake. How can somebody marry a snake? 17. The spirit of rejection. That is a spirit. That is upon a person. And anywhere you go, you suffer rejection. You go here, they don't want you. You go there, they don't want you. That is unexplainable hatred against your person. 
may the spirit of rejection be shifted away in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 18 is polygamic spirit. If you come from a, a place of polygamy and the enemy wants to make you polygamous, he wants to detain you, bringing assorted men, assorted women your way in order to detain you. Every spirit of that polygamy troubling your future life, I bury it now. <laughs> 19. Homosexualism. When you are homosexual, you are sleeping with yourself. You are doing all kinds of things. You are sleep a man sleeping with a man. You will detain your marital breakthrough because the spirit behind that homosexualism will not want you to marry heterosexually. 20. Lesbianism. Lesbianism is a common problem these days, particularly in schools, girls' schools. You have a, a school mother, a school friend, and both of you are practicing lesbianism. That may be responsible for the delay you are noticing now because the spirit of lesbianism does not want you to go. You rather prefer you go and get a woman like yourself or a man, you go and get a man. These are bondages to break. 21. Broken homes. When daddy and mommy are no longer together, you've come from a broken home, there is a spirit that follows all children from broken home. One of those spirits is marital distress. If you are from a broken home, the Lord will deliver you from that spirit. 20 lesbianism. 21 is broken home. 22 is witchcraft spirits. The witchcraft you understand in those days have been repackaged. The devil has repackaged witchcraft now. Seriously. To suit the modern day taste. If your idea of witchcraft is an old woman climbing on a broom, <laughs> you made a mistake. The present day witches, they wear three-piece suit. They carry briefcases. They use the latest perfume. They are in the judiciary, they are in the schools, they are in the media, they are everywhere. The, the enemy has repackaged it. I pray that every witchcraft decision on the marriage of anyone here will be scattered in the name of Jesus. 23, you have blockers of the right partners. They block the right partner and bring the wrong, they block the right partner and bring the wrong people. These are agents of marital delay. 24, evil magnet. Wrong people are magnetized to you and you know they are wrong. So they come, they waste your time, they waste your time. You two be trying to push them away. They are trying to move close. You waste time pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, pushing them. Sometimes they'll be attacking others who want to talk to you. We call it evil magnet. May that evil magnet power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 25 is strategic displacement. The enemy puts you in an unprofitable location. He knows that your husband is in Nigeria. He gives you an American visa or a visa to somewhere to make you go away to where you won't find the person. He detains a person in the waiting room of marital distress. 26. Jilting syndrome. Jilting syndrome. This one comes, proposes, goes away. This one comes, they keep jilting you, jilting you, jilting you. A woman brought her daughter to the headquarters and came to look for help because this young lady had undergone 13 broken engagements. 13. When I said, Mama, this is deliverance issue. Take her for deliverance. 27. Abortion traps. 
Abortion is a dangerous thing to do. Any form of abortion that you do causes frustration. Unless atonement is made to atone for that blood that was shed, that the spirit of those children that you killed and the voice of their blood will be crying against the man responsible and the woman responsible and that may detain you in the valley of marital delay. 28. Bad temper. Bad temper. If you are a woman or a man and you get angry easily and you lose your temper, getting a partner will be very, very difficult. In fact, the Bible itself says, go not with an angry man. If you find that somebody has a bad temper, you better be careful. I remember the story of Sunday. Sunday got home from work. He found a brand new car parked at the front of the house. He did not know that the wife who worked in the bank was just giving a car that day. He just concluded that the woman must have taken the car from a boyfriend. So he went straight to the garage and got a cutlass. He went, cut the woman to pieces. Before, in anger, before he now found out that it was the car given to her in the bank that day. Anger is a destroyer. And anger can detain you in that evil corner. 29. Perfectionist spirit. You want everything perfect. The person has to walk straight. He must dress well. Everything must color match. His, his smile must be good. His teeth must be white. His hair must be black. His leg must be straight. Everything must be perfect. Perfect. You cannot find a perfect human being. Anybody looking for a perfect human being, the only place to visit is the cemetery. Because they are not alive. 30. Dictator or Goliath parents. Dictator or Goliath parents. You bring this one, no. You bring that one, no. Bring this one, no. You bring this one, no. Everything, no, 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 no. And you get delayed. 31. Wrong counseling. People go and receive wrong counseling on how to meet their partners, how to do this, how to do that. And they counsel them wrongly. Every counsel against the Bible is wrong counseling. 32. Bad friends. This year, don't associate with negative people. Your best friends are those who had value to your life. Don't go to friends who will confuse you and make you do what you should not do. 33. Bad health. A person who has medical problems will not even consider marriage. He will be running away. He won't consider marriage. 34. Virgin bondage. There are some people only the husband they marry should disvirgin them. If somebody else did the agreement they sign with their destiny will work against them. In fact, some ladies will have been happily married if they had said no to sex. No to sex. No to sex. Those ladies, if you are, if you are hearing me now, you will realize that all those men you slept with eventually went away. And let me tell you one secret. You cannot tie down a man with sex. All you are telling the man is that you are not a wife material. Let that be straight. And if you have broken the virgin bondage, you need to cry for mercy from the Lord. If God wants to produce a prophet through you, and because of that you must remain a virgin before you marry. But now you went and is virgin yourself, thereby losing the chance to have that prophet, you get into a virgin bondage. 35. Imbalance in life. Your life is not balanced. You are not looking, you are not balancing your life very well. You're just one-sided. No balance. No, not you ignore 
plenty of good areas of your life, it can cause delay. 36. Bad hygiene. Your body is smelling. Your mouth has terrible odor. Your clothes are not washed. Your underwear are stinking out of your clothes to the person next to you to be smelling. Your ears are unkempt. You don't wash them. They are smelling. Your nails are long like the vultures. Your ear, you don't clean them. Your clothes, you don't bother whether there is sweat on them, you just wear them anyhow. Will detain you. You need to change. 37. Marital misconceptions. When somebody has programmed you to believe that marriage is bad, there are some women, they program them to believe marriage is bad. It's bondage for men. It's slavery for women. Some, some even call marriage death sentence. That you have sentenced yourself to death by getting married. Some call it prison yard. Once you have that kind of misconception, it could delay your marital breakthrough. 38. Personal embargo. Personal embargo. You come to the church and you hide. You don't participate in any activity in church. You are very unfriendly. You are unsociable. Bad mannered. Quarrelsome. You are the kind who say, I don't mix with riffraffs. I don't mix, mix with riffraff. If not for problems, what will bring me here? Don't mix with this kind of people. There are some professions that give pastors a headache. It's not that the professions are bad. Two professions give pastors serious headache. Bankers, nurses. The bankers enter into that bank in the morning and not, doesn't come out until very late at night. And sometimes they work Saturday, Sundays. So there is no opportunity to live a sociable life. They don't mix with people. They don't join church group. They are always in the bank and getting there late. The nurses, now did it today, now did it tomorrow, now did it today, now did it tomorrow. Have and problems. You should not put a personal embargo on your life. Number 39. Huge family responsibilities. Somebody wants to marry you. Then he, he, he came to your house. He found a battalion of children. And all the battalion of children, they are on your neck. You are the one paying the school fees of this one, sending this one to, to land trade. And the woman said, ah, ah, ah. By the time this man finishes with the 25 people he wants to train, will he have time for me? Huge family responsibility can delay your marital breakthrough. And those family people that you are happy with your money, trying to settle them down, know that some of them may be satanic and say, well, if we allow this person to marry, they won't look after us again. So let's put the marriage on hold. 40. Even soul time. You were befriending somebody before. And the person you are befriending now has asked you to make a covenant with him. So you are still tied to that person. Because you are tied to that person. And you are promised with your own mother, I love you. I love you. I promise you. I'll never leave you. Will you leave me? No. Will you leave me? No. You have said that over and over again. It's a soul tie. You get another boyfriend, soul tie. Another boyfriend, soul tie. The more soul ties you have to break, the more the thing delays you from your, eventually, from your eventual marital breakthrough. We'll continue next time. We've already done some prayers, but we still have three prayers to do. And those three prayers are very serious prayers indeed. So that with that anointing on you, you now move. And nobody will be able to stop you. 
A minister was sharing something with me. This sister met this brother in the campus. And they were boyfriend, girlfriend. Then they went to the brother, the, the, the man took this, this sister to a native doctor. That let us make a covenant here that you will not leave me and I will not leave you. So the native doctor said, okay, no problem. They brought a live chicken and used it to rub the head of the sister, used it to rub the head of the brother, and then they asked them to cut themselves with blade. They cut themselves with blade, they applied the blood on the sister, on the chicken, the blood on the brother, on the chicken, and the native doctor began to issue incantations. And as he issued incantations, maggots began to come out of the body of the chicken. Life maggots. And the man said, that's it. The covenant is, is, is true. Make sure you don't leave each other. And they said, thank you. And they went. All of a sudden, the father of the man died. And that father was a king. So the brother took over the throne of his father and inherited three wives that the, the father had. So it is now, that sister should now become wife number four. So he ref she refused. She said, I, I can't be your fourth wife. I cannot be the fourth wife. So she refused. And went off to go and look for another person. Eventually she found somebody else to marry. Two weeks to the wedding, she found that she was menstruating maggots. She couldn't tell anybody, but she remembered the covenant. Maggots were coming out of her womb. Seriously, life maggots. What can she do now? She can't go and tell anybody. So what she did, she broke the relationship. When she broke the relationship and told the brother, no marriage again, the maggots stopped. After a few months, she got another person to marry. Maggots started again. So anytime she wanted to marry somebody, maggots will start. Because of the covenant she had formed. Speaking the law to my marital life. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Now, this particular prayer. Dark covenant of late marriage. Pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray this is the third prayer which I want you to pray with boiling aggression say pass behind marital delay I am not your candidate Dead! in the name of Jesus 